वेलकम क्लास नाइन टुडे वी स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री लॉज ऑफ मोशन सो इफ अ बॉडी इज एट रेस्ट एंड इफ सम एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इज अप्लाइड फ्रॉम दिस साइड टूवर्ड्स दिस डायरेक्शन देन द बॉडी विल स्टार्ट टू मूव बिकॉज ऑफ द फोर्स एंड अगेन इफ अ बॉडी विच इज मूविंग is mid to stop by applying a force in the opposite direction so here the body is moving in this direction and the force is applied in the opposite direction then the body will come to rest so we can define force as a force is the physical cause which changes or tends to change either the shape or size or the state of rest or of motion of the body so not only the state of rest changes to motion or the state of motion changes to rest by application of force but also it can change the shape or size of the body so force can be categorized into two categories namely contact force and non contact force so we'll discuss about contact force first forces which are applied on bodies only by making a physical contact are known as contact force there are four types of contact forces namely frictional force normal reaction force tension force and the force exerted by a spring frictional force so here in the picture we have a book on the table and the book and the table are in contact with each other so the force which resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with the surface of another object then that force is the frictional force so here the book and the table which are in contact on the surface over here and if the book is pushed towards right then there is an opposing force which develops which is in the opposite direction and that is the force of friction so it always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion of the body so as the motion of the body is towards the right the frictional force develops towards the left so that is in the opposite direction it acts on the surfaces of both the bodies in contact so here it is you know it acts on the surface of the book as well as on the surface of the table so it acts on the surface of both the bodies which are in contact when the book is pushed towards the right the frictional force acts towards left and it resists the motion of the body tending to stop it so here since the book is pushed towards right the frictional force will try to uh, stop the body and it will be it will resist the motion of the body and it will try to stop it next is normal reaction force so if a body is placed on our palm we will feel its weight okay and the weight will be you know directed downwards towards the center of the earth towards the earth surface and if we try to balance that weight by our palm the weight of this object on our palm then of normal reaction force is exerted which will be just in the opposite direction so it is the force perpendicular to the surface on which the object lies so here since the object is lying on our palm and that is the surface in which it is resting so this normal reaction force will be perpendicular to that surface on which this object is lying and it is the reaction force of 
gravitational force that means it is the reaction force means it is uh, you know the reaction force which is if this is the force of gravity then the reaction force will be in the opposite direction so it is the reaction of gravitational force and it acts perpendicular to the surface on which the body lies the gravitational force which is acting downwards and the normal reaction force which acts upwards are with uh, are of equal magnitude so here the magnitude of the downward acting force and the magnitude of the normal reaction force are supposed to be equal since we are balancing the weight of the object on our palm or we can say if the body is resting on top of the surface of the table in that case also the table will be exerting the equal amount of force that will be opposite to the weight of the body itself so here the normal reaction force is acting upwards as the gravitational force is acting downwards and both the forces will be equal in magnitude it is the force which does not allow the body to fall and because the normal reaction force is acting upwards with the same magnitude and with the same magnitude it is going downwards both the forces being equal and opposite in direction they will nullify each other and thus the body will not fall down so this is the normal reaction force next is tension force so here when a wire is fixed on a rigid support and a weight and an object is placed or tied so that its weight starts acting downwards then the tension force will be acting in the upward direction so we can say the force that is transmitted through string or rope when pulled by forces acting at the two opposite ends is the tension force it acts when the string or rope is pulled from two opposite sides so here we can see it's only pulled from one direction but it can be felt that both this end is also pulling the the string in the opposite direction in the upward direction so here since it is only the force which is pulling the string from downward direction so here we can say that the string will develop the tension force and it will be throughout the string with the same magnitude when a body is suspended by a wire attached to a rigid support the tension is developed in the string on the upward direction equal to the weight of the body so here the weight is acting downwards and the tension is developed upwards and the magnitude of both these forces the tension and the weight will be equal so t will be equal to w next is force exerted by a spring so in the normal condition the spring looks like this but if a force is applied a pulling force is applied at one end then there will be a restoring force the restoring force will try to put the spring back into its normal position or if the force of push is applied towards one end then the restoring force will act in the opposite direction again and it will try to restore the spring back into its normal position so the string the exerts the force opposite to the direction of the displacement of its free end the magnitude of force is directly proportional to the magnitude of displacement that means if you apply more force and apply and make the displacement of one end more then the restoring force will be more okay and similarly if you displace one of its end a small displacement then relatively you will find the restoring force will also be small the force by which the spring recoils back to its initial position is called the restoring force so this is the force by which it will you know 
recoil back to its normal position or into its normal conditions or initial uh, position that is the restoring force. 